Hilton has been keeping a low profile of late, but now we know why. She's been buried in a recording studio. The heiress is back with her special blend of breathy vocals, dance beats, and utterly meaningless lyrics. This has been written by someone who doesn't like her. Her new single, High Off My Love, High, is out now. And while it certainly isn't the deepest musical offering of all time, it's actually getting some okay reviews. Music reviewer Charlotte Ryan is here to tell us how that could possibly happen. Um, as I say, Charlotte, good morning. Good morning. Um, that's obviously been written by one of the many, many people who sort of poo-poo everything Paris Hilton does. Well, I've never been in that category. R- yeah, you're quite a fan or you're fascinated by her. Well, do you know what I think about her? Um, she at least really does stuff. You know, now sure, House of Wax was a diabolically bad film and her acting was appalling, but she still put herself forward and she did it. And she's, yeah, exactly. She has 44 shops around the world, apparently. A lot of people don't know that. I didn't know that until I did research. I didn't have too much respect for her. And to be honest, the single came out a couple of weeks ago and I was like, oh, whatever. But it's moving up the charts. Everyone is loving it. Everyone's talking about it. The radio stations are adding it. Mm. It's kind of successful. You know, 44 Paris Hilton stores worldwide. You know, that is, I mean, that's a living. There you are. She's making a name for herself, even though she was handed a name and money on a plate. Yeah, but in those stores, there's Paris Hilton perfume, there's Paris Hilton bags, there's Paris Hilton paraphernalia. You know, yeah. She's got a good brand. Paris, you named all of the paraphernalia and then you said, <laughs> I did really you said paraphernalia as I was though thinking, it was an extra thing. Well, it could be other things, socks. Oh my God, I've just seen your bottom. Well, um, the other reason why this song is doing so, so well is the video. It's quite, well, it's quite X-rated actually. Um, but that's another reason why it's doing so well in the charts because mm. these days YouTube views cut towards American album exactly, charts and single exactly. charts. People love a bit of arse. So a little bit of arse, yeah. All right, let's, <laughs> have a, let's have a little bit of a listen. All right, so here's the thing. Yeah. Um, it's it's a bit. Is it psychedelic? Um, I call it dance music. I yeah. call it like Euro dance music almost. In Ibiza, it will do really well. In the clubs, it will do really well. And she's a DJ now, of course, as well. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. she can she oh, can drop it. Turn her hand to anything. Yeah. Um, it sounded a weeny bit. Um, piece of me. Piece of me. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Didn't you think? Let's, can we have another listen? Let's just have another listen. That's a different song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it does, I'll take your it does it. have a little bit of Britney Spears. Well, to be honest, this song is so mathematically created. I, I mean, she didn't write it. Paris okay. didn't write it. So, right. yeah, they'll be like, what works as a good single? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull those um, there's nothing wrong with Britney Spears either. No. All right, so um, what do you reckon? You, you think it's okay? Well, yeah, I'm playing it for you. I think you think it's It's okay. It's nice. And and I must get a copy of that video too. (laughs) Um, All right. The must add to your collection um, tune this week. What have you chosen? Well, I've actually chosen an album, a couple of albums, a series of albums. All the Led Zeppelin albums are being reissued. Um, This is a thing that lots of old bands do because it's a way to make money, I guess. It's a Mm. way to stay current. Um, But what they're doing is when they are re-releasing all these albums on vinyl is that they're putting sort of bonus tracks and the album liner notes are amazing. And they're doing that with every single... Led Zeppelin album and it turns out that the final drop of the three final Led Zeppelin albums will come out at the end of next month. Okay. You're not a Led Zeppelin fan? Uh, I'm not a huge fan but I can see why you would suggest that you need to have at they, least one decent Led Zeppelin totally. album. Totally. Yeah. They're one of the biggest selling artists of all time. 200 to 300 million copies of their albums have and been And you know sold. what? You need to get a turntable. Yes. You need to get a turntable. Especially with this sort of music. I mean I grew up listening to Best of. Best okay, of, here's so, Led Zeppelin yeah. in case you don't know who they are. It's pretty cool. It's nice. It's pretty cool. Yep. That reminds me that I need to listen to Led Zeppelin a little bit more. Mind you, that was a good one because some of it is. is I, cho- I chose a more accessible yeah, one. Some this of time. it is a bit full on. Um, <laughs> all right, top five albums of the week. Top five New Zealand albums. Sam Smith coming in at number five. Mm. Ed Sheeran at number four. Those two have been in the charts for ages. Foster and Wait Alan. Wait for it. Foster and Alan. <laughs> our favourites. Um, they've dropped, actually. Dropping num- one spot to number, number three. Number three. Mm. The script, who have been number one for the last couple of weeks, they are number two this week because Florence and the Machine, her new album, How Big, How Blue, How Beautiful, is our number one. And that's because you talked about it last week, and if it's talked about on this programme, it's straight to number one. Unless we say it's hideous, in which case <laughs> it will never get there. Um, thank you very much, Charlotte. Charlotte Ryan, our music reviewer back again at the same time next week.